Well, I'm, I'm obviously very, very happy for our guys. Um, you know, a week ago Tuesday, it was not not a very good day, and uh, they came together. I, I told Wyatt, the radio people, on my pregame, if if going through the the loss last week uh, brings our team together, I'll take all the criticism, I'll take all the gruff. It doesn't matter, and I think it 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 brought those guys together. Uh, I talked about they had a meeting after the game last Tuesday. I think that was a big step. And then we, um, you know, we just realized, hey, we got to do what we do. And and uh, I, I thought it was just such a good team win. You look at the stats. We had five guys in double figures against Wisconsin, Milwaukee. We had four guys in double figures plus eight, eight, and seven. So you had great balance. Uh, made our free throws. Uh, two things we thought when we looked at stats. We said we could hopefully take advantage of three things. One, to play hard. And we won that. Um, just the deflections, loose balls, all the little plays that make a difference. The second thing was getting to the free throw line. If you look at their stats, they were they were the other opponents had 30 or more free throws shot than they had had had. And then and then uh, the rebounding we thought could be a big difference maker. And if you look at those three things, um, it gave us an advantage. A great job by the guys coming off the bench. Rudy with 10, uh, Carlton with 10. Uh, everybody really contributed and and you know we and that's without making a three in the second half we're four for nine I thought we had great balance I thought our defense was really good in the first half second half um, not you know I don't think it was bad we broke down a little bit otherwise we could have got that thing you know up in the you know high double digits um, but we, you know, we just didn't, we missed a lot of open threes, but to their, our guys credit, they keep battling and kept playing hard, made a lot of little big plays, the day's one, double, double, loose balls, rebounds. And I told them before the game, UNLV banks in a three, Fort Hayes banks in a three. I said, those plays happen because your mindset is in the right place. And, and tonight we had some bounces go our way. Their guy gets a rebound, falls down. Carlton grabs it, lays it in. Those are the kind of plays that make a difference. And again, those happen if your your mind is in the right right place as far as, uh, you know, trying to win the game. So, it's, uh, you know, we didn't get a road win last year at all. Got one right away. Uh, you know, happy for them. But obviously we got to keep moving forward. And... Uh, uh, we'll have a if you know I, I think we'll play Saturday against Baylor and we know that you're playing one of the the toughest teams or if not the toughest team in the country thank you coach um, thank you coach uh, question first question to Tim Fitzgerald hey coach great win um, Talk about the focus of your team and how they played the full 40 minutes and seemed really locked in on the game plan and didn't seem to flinch at all. Yeah, I, I think that was really important. Stan Weber just on the radio just talked about he hadn't been at shoot around this year because um, Norm at you know home games if you're he's not there or you're in tier one if you're not in tier one you can't come to the shoot around and he just he mentioned to me after shoot around he said man they were focused they were locked in and they made shots and. Um, he was he was really impressed, and and I think that was again a good mindset, right mindset about winning, helping your team, doing what you do well. Uh, Mike McGurl has foul trouble, but he's still three assists, one turnover, some big passes to Davion for dunks. You know, he's he, in the last two games, he's eleven to two assist turnover, and it's as good as anybody. You know, so just uh, you know, just a group that hopefully is growing, getting better. But obviously, we have a long way to go, and it's just one game. And uh, you know, the you know, again, we we talked about you know, you, it's never as good as it, it it seems, and it's never as bad as it feels. So, you know, right now, last week we were really feeling lowered in the snake belly. This week we're feeling pretty good, but, but you got to keep moving forward, and we just got to keep getting ready, uh, preparing, and and battling each day. Is Dejuan beginning to figure out his game? He's still struggling with that long shot, but yeah, I he's just, really getting out. I, I told, yeah, I told the radio, I, I, I don't know how many he's missed in a row. Probably 14, 15, 16 in a row. 
And and these are wide open shots. I mean, he's just missing them. And I I I really say a prayer every time he shoots it because he's such a good kid. He wants to do well. He's worked at it. He's a much better shooter. We just got to get one to go in, and I think it'll help him. But the, a week ago, two weeks ago, if he missed some threes, he just his body language changed. He but this game he did everything, all the little things that that meant a difference. And 11 for 11 from the free throw line. Uh, I think that's one of the best in the history of K State. He even said to me, Coach, get I don't want to take it out anymore. I want I want to get the ball and get fouled because I'll make the free throws. So, I, it, you know, just that that's a big step in maturity for him and just a good focus. So I'm happy for him and and he's he's got to do what he does and and he's he's gotten better. He'll make some shots, I promise you. But um, if he's got to keep playing like he did, playing hard like that. And, and he'll be a, he'll be successful. You, you got a lot from all the guys that came off the bench, but how important was Lingard tonight? Unbelievable. And and I just again, this is a, a young man that really hadn't played basketball since last March, since it all shut down. He he got to work out a little bit with the small groups, and then his back was bad, and then three months with nothing, and then we stuck him in a game. Um, you know, without with maybe a handful of practices and some of those just part of the time. So, you know, today I, I grabbed them and chewed around and I just worked on picking pops and I said, this is this is what you do well. And, uh, you know, he made a couple, he got a couple layups, you know, just really, really happy for him uh, because it, it hasn't been easy. Him and Davion, I know you guys had Davion, um, you know, just great production. We were so afraid of, uh, Solomon Young and and then uh, oh the the other two bigs Foster and Condit and we thought that that would be a could be a big difference maker for them but our our big guys stood the test and outscored their bigs and did a lot of good things. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Uh, next question to Kellis Robinette. What is it about this smaller lineup that uh, seems to be working so good for Davion at least offensively? Well, we spread the defense out. Uh, that's the big thing. And then you got uh, four guys that are, are really good uh, perimeter weapons, and they can put it on the floor and they can pass. Um, just watching the Iowa uh, game against Iowa State, obviously Gars is really, really good. But those other four guys, and even guys coming off the bench, can they can all pass and shoot and dribble. And it, it, it's it's a thing of beauty to watch. And it, it it definitely makes gives us more threats, different threats. I know Selton wants to do more, but, you know, he had a couple nice drives. We even ran a clear out for him at the end. And uh, Solomon Young backed off and he shot the three. But, um, you know, it, 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 it just gives us more versatility and gives Davion more space inside. How proud, how, how proud are you just of these – guys to uh, bounce back the way they happened last week? I, I mean, I'm happy. We got great kids. I've told you guys all along. We went through a little uh, a drama for a couple weeks in practice. Guys trying to figure out what they are, who they are, what they and, – and I think we had to take a little bit of a humble pie. And uh, once, once they did that, they reacted well. Our practices have been really good since last Tuesday, and we've made pra progress. And the whole thing is we've been able to practice with 10 guys. So you get to practice five on five. Uh, we're hoping to get, you know, Monty back in a, maybe in a week or so. Um, and obviously Casey, you know, probably after Christmas, um, you know, we, we, we hope to have him back if it all goes right. So hopefully give us more versatility and, and these guys a little more confidence. All right. Thanks, Bruce. Travel safe. Home. Thank you. Uh, next question to Michael Goins. Yeah, Coach, how far has the defensive focus um, progressed over the last week, 10 days, two weeks? Well, I've, I've said to our coaches, we're just not very good on defense. And, uh, you know, today we did a little better. I thought we were in the gaps better. We kept the ball. Our whole goal was keep the ball out of the paint, keep it in front of us, uh, because once they get in the paint, they, they – you know, they can shoot the ball from three and they got lots of weapons. And then they also get that ball inside the Solomon Young and it's tough to deal with. So um, I thought at first half, we were really good. We I don't know how many turnovers. I thought they had eight or nine turnovers. 
at halftime. A lot of those because we just we were there. They were trying to probe, and we were there. Um, but it's you know it, it it's going to take a while. Um, you know our habits are not there. The concepts they're learning. I guess the best thing they did today was play hard and and they tried to and they really prepared. Um, I think those two things uh, were really really key for us to have a chance to you know we hope that's a. Is that the lowest we've held any team, 65? Um, and they got some down the stretch. So that, that gives you a chance to win on the road. You seem to close out on the three pretty well. Yeah, that, and that's a big key. Uh, we've watched film. We've, we've done breakdown drills. I don't think – I told them I told them early they don't like that, the drills that are habit drills, your closeout drills, your breakdown drills. And, and they didn't see the need for it. And then all of a sudden they're getting – they're getting torched and people are taking them and they're, you know, shooting 45 from three. And now you realize you watch film and you, Hey, I got to get to the shooter. So coaches have done a good job. They've done a good job buying in, but again, it's just, it's a good day. Uh, but uh, you know, we got to get back and we got some tough competition coming up. It's a, uh, you know, it, it, the league is so good. And obviously Baylor's, you know, the, one of the best in the country. Who had the main guard on uh, uh, Coleman lands tonight? You know, Mike started on him. Uh, we thought it was a good matchup. Um, you know, the key, though, is he gets points off of the other guys. And that's why I said if we keep the ball out of the paint where we don't have to help as much, then it allowed us to, you know, get to him, get to the shooter. So I thought that was key. I thought the second half, they got we, – we didn't do as quite as good. Maybe get tired. Bolton got in there. Uh, and and created some problems for us, but uh, you know, I, I, you know, just a, a good job by a good team effort. Last question to Ryan Black. Hey Bruce, when you, when you look at the stats, you know, both teams shot amazingly well in the first half, and the second half was kind of the opposite. How much of it was the second half just shots not falling versus was it both of you guys making adjustments at halftime? Well, I, I'm sure it's a little bit of that, a little bit of conditioning. Um, you know, it, it, you're still early in the season, and, you know, this earliest Big 12 game in the history for K-State, I'm sure for Iowa State. Um, you know, so you're, you're not in quite as good a shape. And, and it's a tense game. It's a, it's a Big 12 game. It's a fight. It's a brawl. And um, I, I thought we had some open ones. I'm sure they thought they had some open ones too. But, uh, again, we made all the, we did all the little things that made a difference in it. So it's uh, you can win in a lot of ways, and, and we found a way to win today by playing harder than our opponent, doing all those little things that make a difference. Great team balance, and um, just just out tough them, out fought them, out fought them. I mean, I'd say it's probably hard to to overstate how important your guys' free throw shooting was tonight. Well, it's yeah, it's unbelievable, and if you look at the Wisconsin, Milwaukee. What were we ten for eighteen? Uh, very, very focused. Uh, Rudy's the only one that missed them. For Davion to go four for four, you guys have no idea. Uh, it was an experiment every time he went to the line last year. And to his credit, he's really locked in as a good routine, shooting him with confidence, and he's made his last six. So that's 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 impressive for him. Bruce, how much of the credit do you take for that with the free throw shooting? Because we certainly see all the videos of you all the time. You seemingly never missing a free throw. So how much? How much do you actually take the hands on with the free throw shooting with the guys? Uh, with, they gotta, they gotta fail, and then they listen. And Davion was very bad when he got here, so he actually listened. And you know, it's, it's, you know, it's routine, it's rhythm, it's, 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 you know, muscle memory, and a lot of the guys they wheel into these free throws and it's a short stroke and we got Davion locked in right at that shot pocket short stroke great follow through and uh, you know just shooting it with confidence